All right, here we are. We are dumping our camper. This is the less, uh, I don't know. The don't part that she doesn't, she doesn't has the no part. The part that I don't want to do. The less yeah. favorable. There's the word I was looking for. It's a necessary evil. And if you're going to do this, if you're going to rent a camper van or own a camper van, you have to do this part. You don't have a choice. You have to, you have to empty the sewage in the gray water. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right. I'm not gonna. I'm trying to spare you the gory stuff. But it starts like this. In here is what they call a cassette. This is all the nasty. Stuff you don't want to get on you. I'm wearing gloves. I'll wipe the keys down when I'm finished. And uh, yeah. So. Oh, and once this thing is off, you have to be really careful. Otherwise, it gets really gross. All right. So we have found that about every two days we're emptying it out. They say that you can go longer, but we tend not to. And you rinse everything out so other people have to see your stuff. It's the nasty. All right. So I filled it with water, put the cap on, and give her a good shake. And I usually do this about three times. Final time, this is my third time. And that does it. Just a little side comment do not do your dishes over here. We saw somebody do that. Very yeah. gross. <laughs> somebody doing their dishes in this. Yeah, it's like really gross. They were from France. No offense to you French people. We got our weirdos in America too. Believe that. We just hope that they didn't get sick later, but. That's how you thin the herd, right? <laughs> Rinse everything off real quick. All right. About as clean as it can be. We'll put it back in the van. Put that lid back on the right way. Now, slides in the right way. Locks. When you come through later and wipe it all down with the Ajax wipes or the Clorox wipes. All right, so this is the gray water. It's a gray water hose. Take this knob off. Underneath there, it's got these little things, you flip them up, cam action. Don't forget that cap. Uh. And then this goes in there, and you just open the valve. And honestly, they didn't design these real well because they put these always on a slope that way. And uh, it makes it so that the water doesn't really drain. As you can see, I'm getting nothing out of it because the van is about the same level as that. And if you need to get a siphon action going, you need to kind of coerce it. And so this one I'm going to have to try to do like a peristaltic type action. Yeah. It's a horrible design you don't think much about. 
like this level here to there just doesn't work and so sometimes you can get a good siphon action going where it actually starts pulling but it doesn't appear that's going to happen today so normally that's what you do we don't have a whole lot of water in there because we just drained a little bit ago and so all right there you get it Unlock this. Make sure the key's all the way in because it can be fussy. Big pocket. Now some of these have these little nipples on them. So in this case, this hose has that and just pull it off. Connect it. And I always like to let it run a little bit before I put it in there. So it'll wash off my stuff. Nice when there's lots of pressure in these. Stand out of the way. Now one thing we did do is we wiped this all down with like Ajax and Clorox. You want to make sure that your water supply is clean. And there's no, no stuff you're going to put into it because if you're going to drink this water. It's one thing if you're only washing with it. But if you're going to intend to drink this water, number one, make sure you wear gloves when you're doing the sewage part. And this is already pretty well full. We try not to waste water, but look how clearly we are. But we uh, make sure that the hose is flushed. A lot of times we'll wipe these down too. Um, I probably should have done that on this one, but um, I didn't. But I think we'll be all right. Uh, so there you have it. Make sure your water supply is clean. Don't touch this with sewer hose. That's why you wear the gloves. In fact, when I'm done, I'm going to take everything that's going to get wiped down. So I wipe down even the keys with the Ajax wipe because I touched that. So the keys get wiped down, the hose gets wiped down, the steering wheel gets wiped down, the door handles get wiped down. Now, I'm not a germaphobe, but I want to be careful. So. When you're on vacation, you don't want to get a bad germy thing going on and get sick. It wouldn't be fun. So there you have it.